Hey y'all, it's Rhonda. Um, I'm going to try my best to, to show you this tutorial in a video and then I will um, post pictures online because I'm not too sure like how this video thing's going to work out. So let's see. First of all, here's my block without the final uh, border on it. It measures just over 18 inches, so I'm going to pretend as though this is 18 inches. And what I did is, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm going to, I'm, I'm not real good at this video thing. But here you can see it's laying on, let me zoom in here. Okay, here it's laying on the quarter inch mark. And... Um, I'm going to back up just so you can see it is in fact tilted. This is how I do it. Now mind you there are probably there might be easier ways to do this but nonetheless this is how I do it. Okay so it, in the bottom right hand corner where I just showed you it is on the quarter inch mark. Over here on the left bottom corner it's on the 22 inch mark. Now assuming that if I tilt this block just as it is, and I only want a slight tilt on it. I don't want, you know, I don't want to sit in sideways. So there's my slight tilt. If I measure, if I can fill in this space from here over like this, and then up. Now, mind you, it's going to come a quarter of an inch off this side. Um, which would bring it to right around this half inch, this half hash mark here, all the way up. See here how it's now. We've, we're back to this. Okay, so you see where my square is going to kind of be. So I know that my this brings me up to this. My block is going to be right around 21 inches because my mat is 24 inches wide, and that would be at the three inch mark right here at the corner of this block. So it's 21 inches. Um, does that make any sense? Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut some strips. Oh, and the, the width of my strips are determined by this width here. Now, here it's 2 inches. And, and I realize that what I'm getting ready to tell you is going to generate some waste. But I'm okay with a little bit of waste so that I have some fabric to play with. I'm going to actually cut my strips four inches just in case my math is off. If I cut this two inches and then I get ready to, of course, here's two inches and then you have to add your, your quarter inch mark. So actually I'd have to cut them two and a half inches because you have to add a quarter inch for, for this seam and then a quarter inch for the outside of the block. Um, but just in case it, it it's not right, I, I'm going to cut them bigger. Now you could cut them three and three and a half or four. I'm going to go with four. Just I'd rather have some scrap than not have enough. So I'm going to cut them four inches, uh, sew it on, and then I'll come back and show you how I cut cut them. And then you can kind of maybe get a better idea of what I'm showing you now. Um, and and I, again, I will take some pictures and write up a tutorial. So you will see a little bit of both. Okay, so I'll be back.